All right, guys. So this is a little different video. Most things will affect your tone, but and even the type of pick and material that you use will. But I don't know if people necessarily know how drastically. Um, I was quite surprised because I've been experimenting with picks. I was primarily a Dunlop Tortex, uh, the green one, .88 user for basically ever uh, since I started playing at 14 up until about a year or two ago before I started experimenting with different picks just to see how they felt and stuff like that. I do like the flows, uh, but they kind of they get a little slippery. Um, apparently my grip isn't what it used to be, I don't know. But I thought it would be fun to throw this little video together, and we're going to compare the... Dun they're all Dunlop picks. We're going to do the Jazz 3 XL in black, which is a... It's like a 1 point... Yeah, 1.36 thickness. Uh, we're going to do the Hetfield Black Fang and White Fang, both in 1.14 thickness. And then uh, these are all 0.88 to green Tortex. It's going to be a regular Tortex, the Triangle Tortex, a Flow, and then the pointy one. Uh, one thing you'll notice in this video is the pointy one I do not play very well at all. Uh, I do not like the pointy guitar pick. It, uh, fucking, it fucked me up. I don't know how Dino Cazares plays with it, but it... Uh, or no, they're not pointy. They're called sharps. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> Maybe if I got used to it, I don't know, but it uh, I kept getting it caught on the string. I could not, uh, I did not have very good picking precision with it, but I figured I'd just leave it. I'm not going to sit there and practice for hours with a pick just to make a five or so minute video. But we go through, I play the same riff, heavy, and then I kind of mess around with a little single note thing, clean. Uh, <laughs> Ironically, the guitar I'm using has two toggle switches, and the top toggle switch is not hooked up. And I didn't realize it at the time, because it was like 2 o'clock in the morning and I was tired. And it was the only time I had to really film playing footage. I didn't realize it at the time, but I used the top toggle switch to switch to the neck position. So all the clean stuff's done with the bridge pickup, uh, unfortunately. But you can still notice a difference. I used a 2020 Epiphone Les Paul Custom with an EMG headset, obviously just a bridge pickup. And the guitar is strung up with Dunlop Power Slinkies 11 to 48. So I think that covers everything. I use my normal Line 6 Helix patch for the Rev Red, and it has a orange 4x12 and a Mesa Boogie oversized 4x12 IR loaded into it and then for the clean stuff I use the uh, Line 6 again with the Jazz Chorus amp patch so that should be it but let's get to it
Now I don't really have a favorite. Uh, I use different picks for different styles of music that I play just because I, I get a particular feeling or sound that I'm looking for or vibe. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is there one that really stood out to you? Are the differences subtle? Do you not really care? Um, what's your take on the whole matter? Let me know in the comments below. Like always, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you could rate, comment, and subscribe, keep me in the algorithm a little bit. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch, and we'll see you in the next one.